Uh, response video, I think, to some guy called the Skeptical Heretic. I don't like this guy, I don't think. Uh, I haven't watched this video. Didn't notice he had one on something like Free Will or something. I never saw, so, well, anyway. He's got this response video, I think, to derived energy or something, I don't know. It's apparently on anti-natalism, so let's play it and dislike it immensely, no doubt. Uh, whoops, I liked it. <laughs> Whoa, that was a mistake. What's this? Who is this guy? He's got 76 likes. It appears already this is being misrepresented as pro-life so, argument. For those of you who are newer in my subscriber base and might not have looked through the older videos, nah. derived energy and I nah. have been having a small conversation on nah. antinatalism. Yeah, nah, we've been doing that. Nah. I think it's an incorrect philosophy. Nah, and then self-serving, egocentric, and entirely subjective. Oh, what a pile of crap. Uh, what do you mean, entirely a subjective? That's a pile of shit. I mean, whether or not life evolved from a DNA molecule that has no purpose or function, um, and that way any cost-benefit analysis is completely ruined because it's basically the finger-painting of a retard, which actually has an objective cash value of zero. Nobody's going to spend their money on the finger-painting of a retard, especially if they're making a finger-painting out of fucking goddamn poo. All right? So we can figure that out. Now, self-serving, I don't even know what the fuck that means, you idiot. Uh, you were basically concluding that life is stupid. We experience one. We say, hey, you know what? This is really pointless and stupid. I was born by a stupid retard. A fucking retard. Decided he was going to do fucking biological experiments and poof me into existence. And I'm saying, what the fuck, you dumb cunt? You never even made the goddamn bed. Your fucking house is a shithole, and you decide to lay eggs in it? You're a retard. Yeah, so that's self-serving in the sense you to just say, Hey, don't lay any more eggs, you goddamn retard. Alright, and, uh, what was the other thing? Self-serving? Uh, let's play it again, just because that's really an annoying accusation, you if stupid you weaselly cunt. Philosophy as it's self-serving, egocentric, and entirely... Egocentric? I mean, come on. You can't do better than that, asshole. Did you read Mr. Benatar's book? Oh, no, apparently not. It's just such a... You know, you fucking... You're, you're the fucking selfish asshole who thinks he's a worse something. I'm a human being. I'm really fucking cool, even though I'm a snarky loser. You look like you're from, like, 1954. That's what you look like, asshole. You look like you belong on a 19... 54 TV show. If you haven't seen the earlier videos, you may want to. No, fuck you. But, he's recently replied yet again. In his reply, he states that intent, or the philosophy of intent, as it holds, doesn't violate the logical construct of what antinatalists call the Venetarian asymmetry. This is a uh, philosophical construct created by David Benatar, not Pat Benatar. Oh, you're just so fucking funny. Uh, oh, man, that's a 1954 fucking joke. Um, you know, and this whole idea that we have some sort of construct, the construct isn't that complicated, okay? Human beings are need machines. You don't create the need, then you don't have a fucking problem. You don't have a need that needs satisfying. It's not that fucking complicated, asshole. We come into the world, we make the mess, and then we clean up the mess, and then we give ourselves a blue ribbon. That's bullshit. All right, that's like a fireman who starts fires to justify his existence. Do deal something with that analogy, okay? Deal with the fact that would it make any sense to have people who start fires just so they can get paid to put the fires out? Would that make any sense? Would that be logical? Would that be something a rational human do being does? Or would that be something a motherfucking, as you said, self-serving, selfish, obsessed, motherfucking cunt would do? Only a selfish cunt would do something that fucking stupid. Yeah, let's start fires and risk giving somebody elephant man disease or autism or 18 years of retardation and death and horrific uh, uh, medical procedures. Let's risk all that, okay, just so we can justify our fucking existence. Yeah. Fuck you, weasel.
Benetarian asymmetry holds that by not having a child, you may be not instilling the pleasure that that child may bring to the world, but you'll also... You're, you're an idiot. All right, it has nothing to do with bringing pleasure to the world, okay? The sentient thing can experience pleasure. To bring pleasure means that the world has to be broken in some way. So let's say there was a perfect world, okay? That the, 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 the person being born would have no mess to clean up, no p poor people to feed, no, no woman to save from a bad husband, no little rescue mission to go on. Then what exactly would it accomplish through its existence? All right, all it would be then is a need machine. It would have needs. It would need to go out into the world and consume. That means it would have to rip something's flesh off of it or, or in some other way steal an existence from something because that's how what we've been sort of designed to do is to do it conveniently. Uh, and and uh, there's every likelihood that in the end of the game, he's going to have more needs unsatisfied than satisfied. There's still going to be spilt milk on the floor. Yes, he'll clean up some of it, but he'll leave some of it behind. And that'll be the net product. But it has nothing to do with creating janitors to clean up messes. You can't justify human existence because humans have created dysfunctional societies where there's a bunch of bleeding people and you're going you're gonna to give birth to somebody who dispenses band-aids. That's not the fucking argument, retard. We're saying don't create the fucking wounded people in the first place. Don't create the war, then you don't have to have the anti-war protest. You get it, retard? Will be preventing the suffering of that child when you bring it into the world. And to prevent that suffering is noble, results in a net positive for existence. But there's a problem with that. Yeah, the problem is you don't know what the word net means, and you're not going to deal with the word net. Because that's the end of the game. The net result is you have nothing to accomplish and everything to lose. It's all, the potential is open-ended losses, okay? And the only possible gain, again, is to, to undo a mess you, you made yourself. To undo the murder you might commit, all right? That's not called crime fighting. Stopping yourself from murdering somebody is not crime fighting. When you remove the philosophy of intent... You also remove the ability to predetermine your action. Brief example. Oh, this will be completely irrelevant. Oh, like we all can't imagine that the future will exist, it will have people in it, and that we could be concerned with their welfare. That somehow we have to strangle philosophy to be able to figure out that something has a future potential implication. Yeah, no, I don't think we need to do that. I really don't think we need to strangle philosophy to figure out that the future has people in it. Man has a son. That son is a philanthropist. Goes on to found a charity that shelters abused women. It removes women from a state of suffering. Oh, here, you're falling right into the thing I just went over, okay? So, yeah, you, this is the typical bullshit trap. So you say there's a bunch of janitorial duties for human beings to um, conduct themselves in. And so you're using this, this not typical circumstance of the human being born who actually is a service to humanity, which is the rare human being, and you goddamn know it. Um, but even if I granted your argument, even if I granted your argument that somebody could actually have a, a deliberately have a kid on purpose for the purpose of him being a janitor to the world, and that is cleaning up the messes, helping the poor battered women or whatever, being a productive influence on the problem, yes, he's cleaning up a mess that shouldn't fucking exist. Again, he's preventing or, or stopping a war that should have never been started in the first place. The, the cure is not to create the war. The cure is not to keep creating the mess for people to have to fucking clean up, you dumbass. But, if that original individual had no children, then philanthropy doesn't occur. Oh, I mean, then this argument is also defeated so easily. Jeffrey Dahmer's father, if he decided not to have a fucking son, uh, yeah, there would be like, whatever it was, ten people who would now be alive today and maybe would be having lives and maybe would have been curing cancer or something. It's doubtful, but maybe one of them would have been curing cancer.
But yeah, because he decided to have a motherfucking piece of shit for a son. Oh, yeah, we all lose. The removal of the suffering of those people also doesn't occur. Yes, again, so the anti-natalists are not for stopping one individual from having a child. Anti-natalists are for stopping the creation of the mess your philanthropist would be cleaning up. All right, so there would be no mess for your philanthropist to clean up anymore. That's the fucking net product end game. All right, don't make a mess, then you don't have to clean up a mess. And then you don't have a justification for your weaselly fucking existence. Which you don't clean up anyway. None of you fuckers are mess cleaner uppers, quite obviously. Your 1954 fucking mop ain't up to the task, butthead. So at that point in time, by ignoring intent, you can see that the anti-natalist philosophy not only sustains a state of suffering through non-existence, but it promotes... I, I can't even believe how inane this is. Again, the wife beater had a father and a mother, you dumb fuck. And if they would have thought for five minutes, oh, well, maybe we shouldn't have a baby if we're drug addicts, and maybe we shouldn't have a baby if we got no fucking money, and maybe we shouldn't have a baby if we're not going to bother raising our kid and he's going to be a reform school lunatic motherfucker who's going to go out and beat up women and rape them. Yeah, maybe if they took a little bit of responsibility for their fucking goddamn games they're playing with goddamn living organisms, then we wouldn't have these fucking goddamn animals to have to go clean up later. All right, but all you fucktards who wave your goddamn, oh, let's have more babies flags, and let's let every retard, every motherfucking 1954 retard janitor have babies. Fuck you. Fuck you. State of suffering through non-existence. If you are to look at the Benatarian asymmetry as a logical construct. Ah, uh, yeah, well, you didn't do that, you dumb retard. You know what you do when you read you read a fucking asymmetry? You gotta read out of the book, you see? And the whole fucking point is, again, I'll explain it to you one more fucking time, idiot. Okay? The need, desire, you see? If you don't have no fucking desire, then you don't fucking need anything. And all those people that are gonna exist tomorrow, well, they're, they're sedaying somewhere now where they don't need to fucking exist, you dumb fuck. They're not sitting somewhere saying, I need to want a fucking chocolate ice cream sandwich. They're not saying they, they need a chocolate ice cream sandwich. And it's only when you make them into a human being, when you make them into the reality, that they start needing shit, you dumb retard. So you don't understand that the need is created when you make the goddamn person? He isn't a fucking need fulfiller. He's a need fucking maker. Don't you fucking get it, you dumb fucker? Then you must also look at the abatement of suffering through procreation as a logical construct. Oh, newsflash. Again, it's not logical. It's completely fuck-tarded. Again, firemen starting fires so they can justify their existence by putting some of the fires out, incompletely at best. That's your logic. You're going to even use the word logic to describe that circumstance? Make a mess, clean up a mess? And you're going to use the word logic. You're going to take a, a good word like logic and tie it to behavior that fucking stupid. This is the problem with anti-natalism. On one hand, you have the views of an individual stating that having children is an evil because it promotes suffering. Well, whatever. Again, nobody uses the word evil, but if it's okay with me. I'm okay with the word. But it's definitely an act of selfish, self-serving bullshit. It has no rational function, all right? It only serves a selfish interest and has only downside potential. There is no upside potential. The universe does not give an, get an orgasm every time a baby poofs into existence. All right, angels don't get their wings, okay? These little fantasies that, you know, uh, little babies pop into the world and, 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 and it's just nothing but a charm to the, to the fucking universe. No, what it is is a vulnerability. 
All right, it's a huge risk of failure. But they discard the fact that by having children, one creates a larger workforce by which to remove or abate suffering. Oh, isn't that charming, too? Yeah, well, if we got more people, why don't we just justify slavery that way? Right? Because it's more productive, right? We get to the future faster if we just enslave half the population. I mean, that kind of logic is doomed to failure. You can't justify overpopulation by saying it gets you somewhere quicker because you know it's going to get you there quicker at somebody's compromise, you dumb fucker. Sentient organism. This is why the logical constructs of antinatalism are not... Yeah, and let's look at it another way, okay? I mean, if you think about all the um, friction, okay, that excessive population creates, all the distractions, the crime, the drug use, the, the completely inefficient behavior of so many people, and how many social resources have to be funneled into that, rather than pure research... Okay, I mean, we spend a lot more money on the social infrastructure than we spend on researching cures for disease, like a thousand to one in terms of the proportion of the money. So maybe if we had less people, we could devote more resources, okay, to doing something that would be truly in the long term extremely productive. Not necessarily logical, and they are not necessarily the whole picture. Yeah, well you haven't you haven't countered an argument with a logical argument, okay? So again, you haven't the logic still survives. The Benatarian mathematics survives your bullshit, empty, silly, juvenile, nonsensical critique. I started this conversation off by stating that your points are entirely subjective and related to your own ego. Uh, well, whatever. You can make that accusation, but it's completely fucktarded because we have obvious evidence that people having the fucking babies are the ones functioning from their own fucking ego. All right? It's the person who doesn't do something. Well, they don't do it for a reason, right? And it's not because they're like, holy shit, I'm giving up something. No, it's because they don't want it. Okay, yeah, because it's logically consistent with the truth, okay, that there isn't any need for it. Now, obviously, the people that need it need it for some sort of personal reason, right? They're not doing it because, oh, I know the universe really wants me to. The universe told me i got to have a baby. None of them are doing it because there's a gun to their fucking heads. So, obviously, they're the subjectivists who are making the most important decision you could possibly make as an individual, which is the creation of life. I mean, either... Ending a life or starting a life, those can only be the two most important things you can do as a fucking human being, correct? So, uh, under that circumstance, it's clear that the people who are irresponsibly and recklessly producing all these fucking goddamn babies are the fucking self-serving, selfish motherfuckers. You stated they weren't, and that they were an objective, logical construct. Yeah, well, look, so the, then the, my the, question the, to you would be... Look, the logical construct is, is if you don't have an argument for the consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, and addiction, all right? We're not made out of good ingredients. We're made out of negative ingredients. We are need machines. We come into this world in a deprivated, needful state, all right? That's not a good thing. And satisfying a portion, a small portion of those needs in a lifetime is a silly insanely stupid economics. Why is it you're incapable of seeing the converse of your objective logical construct? Uh, well, obviously, it's not a logical construct. Again, you think that people have babies based on a logical construct, that they have come to the conclusion that they want and need to have babies because of a logical construct. No, I'm afraid not. It's completely emotional and completely selfish. On the other hand, the person who chooses not to have children has likely analyzed their psychology and said, is there some reason I don't want to have children? Oh yes, 
they can serve absolutely no functional purpose. It's a complementary, objective, logical construct. At this point in time, I'm fairly sure you have no further argument, but do feel free to surprise me. Oh, man, you are really an obnoxious motherfucking piece of turd. How the fuck do you have 306 views? How the fuck could 76 people watch this video and thumb it up? Who the fuck are these retards? I mean, I thought I knew all the retards on the internet. I mean, I'll have to go through this fucking list of comments and see if I know any of these fucking retards who are watching this guy, this, this, this fucking throwback to 1954 kind of lifestyle and thinkology. What are you doing here, boo-boo? What are you watching this fucking shit tube, this fuck shitter for, you stupid fuck? Look, look at all your comments. Why are you filling this asshole's comment section full of comments? Why are you doing that? You're just bringing more fucking goddamn attention to this fucking retard. Ugh. Shit. Anyway. Ugh. So now I have to get to it. See, it's got a free will video. Maybe I'll do that one too. But this guy is really fucking dumb. So anyway, till the next time. And such.